welcome back again to my channel. I'm here in St. Catherine Church. At uh, kakatapos lang po uh, nag-attend ng mass, ng Greek mass. Yun po. Nakakabilib po talaga kasi may Pilipino pong nagmamas ng uh, Greek dito sa Cyprus. So, yan guys. Uh, kapapanaya kapapanayang <laughs> interview po natin ng ating Paris priest na Pilipino priest si Father Andrew Berdote. Ayan po. Andito po siya ngayon. Calimera Sas. Yes. Calimera. Good morning po. Yes. Greek po talaga siya at mag, uh, makikita niya po sa aking videos. Uh, ang homily niya is English but uh, ang, ang the rest po ay Greek. Uh, Ito po si Father. Ano po masasabi niya? Okay, so it's good to uh, say Mass in Greek kasi may mga umaten na mga ano to, Greek na speakers, mga local, local Cypriots, they speak in Greek. At the same time, English din kasi yung, yung ano to, nakakaintindi naman sa English at saka yung homily sa English din kasi may mga Pilipino naman na, na nakakahalo at saka ibang nationalities. Kaya it's good to uh, say the homily in English naman. Pero it's Greek talaga yung Mass from end to end, you know, from start to end. So it's a blessing naman na na pag serve tayo dito sa Cyprus especially sa mga local citizens it's a blessing no at saka yung mga Pilipino they are very good participants sa community dito so thank God oh, thank God okay. yeah. yes, thank, thank, you, you. thank you Father thank mm, you're you, Father. welcome until yeah. next time thank you Father good morning Father Ayan. thank you Father at uh, guys uh, marunong po din magma si Father ng Latin kaya Napaka-bless po natin na nakilala natin si Father Andrew. Siya po ang Paris Christ dito sa St. Catherine Church, Lima Sol. Ayan, Father. Uh... Okay, so we'll pray for you listeners and what, uh, ano to, yung mga viewers ng ating uh, parishioners sa Cyprus, Lima Sol. Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to you all. God bless you all. God bless, Father. Thank, thank you, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. In our celebration. Now is the opportunity to have it again. It is not for ourselves, it is for the world that Jesus has given to us and for the family members around us. We don't ask it from them. We bring Jesus to that who is healing. That's what the world needs, a healing. A sign of hope in time of darkness, that there is going to be light. It is not only the darkness. The sunrise will come in a few hours during the night. This is what Jesus is, the light of the world. Don't hide Jesus in, the, in your isolation. Bring out Jesus into the open where people can see, where people can be healed by God, who is love. This is what the world needs, love. And it, is, it doesn't stay in heaven. It comes down to earth. It is incarnated, it is given to us to dwell in each and every one of us. We can be more loving to our family members. Never ever be depressed, but always having that insight, a joyful Christian, a sign of hope in the world. And so many friends, let's be confident about our faith. Jesus heals, he wants to heal us. Whatever sickness we have, whatever unbelief we have, whatever lack of love we have, he wants to fill the heart with love. It's not going to be about myself, it's about Jesus living in me. That's a great sign of love in the world. And so it's good news. Thank God. Thank you. God loves us. Let's bring that love wherever we go in the world today. Because this is what the mission is of the church, to be a sign of hope in times of darkness or pandemic. Again, let's thank God the Father for giving us our the Son. He didn't stay in heaven. He doesn't stay in heaven. He comes down to us every day we come to Mass. Every time we commune with Him, with the Word, at home, in the Bible, Locked in our rooms where we are during sometimes where we want to be silent, we can pray a lot. And so this is a very good time to today, especially the first class after months of being away from the church, far away from the church, 
to be confident about the presence and the love of God through His Son. Amen. 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 aming talagang napakasipag na gitarista dito sa St. Catherine Church. Ayan. At saka napaka, napaka matulungin, matulungin sa ating mga kababayan at sa ating mga liturgical. Yeah. <laughs> Alayana! I'm from Davao. From Davao. Mindanao. Nakablabas po kami ngayon kasi uh, Ano na open na no? Yes, uh, at, open but na, only but only three hours. Three hours and fifty person lang ang pwede mas yes, allowed in the church. At Sister Lucy, yes. Hi. Sister Lucy po ay talagang napakasipag dito sa St. Catherine Church. <laughs> Siya po yung talaga na nag, uh, nagbigay ng mga readings, ng, mag, ng, ng mga salmo, ng mga uh, nag-readings, at saka yung mga asheret. So, siya po ang nag-schedule. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Magandang, ah, no, it's not. It's in Tagalog. Yeah, good yeah. morning, good evening, yeah. and have a good day for all of us. Yeah. All the time. There are two issues, two three months of TLC, and the students, I must know, they are not. Okay, girls, 9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-